I got told I had endometriosis and I'd never even heard of endometriosis. I found an unbelievable amount of women online who have this condition. I was just overwhelmed with the amount of response that I got when I put up the symptoms and the diagnosis. So many women were like, hang on a minute, what is this? I have all these symptoms, is this not normal? Endometriosis is a disease where cells similar to those lining the womb grow elsewhere in the body. And those cells behave similar way to the lining of the womb. So with the menstrual cycle, they do swell and shed, um, but there has nowhere for them to exit the body. I was diagnosed with endometriosis age 25, but I suffered from the age of about 13. Around 2013, 2014, um, when I started getting pains. All the symptoms of endometriosis, but of course nobody you know, knew what was causing this pain. I was kind of told it was IBS or gastroenteritis. In um, early 2019, that was after 30 years of misdiagnosis, it was extremely debilitating. All of these issues that, you know, just did not explain what my symptoms, and I knew, I was very persistent, I knew that something was going on, I knew that something wasn't right. I went to the GP, felt very cast aside and not heard, and then Eventually the pain was getting worse and worse and worse. It was very like debilitating to me. Everyone else said there's absolutely nothing wrong with me. I keep going, absolutely fine, absolutely fine. Eventually I was diagnosed through emergency surgery to remove my appendix, um, having been mistaken for appendicitis, but it wasn't actually that causing the pain. So this surgery led on to a further operation um, which discovered stage four endometriosis, which resulted in having total hysterectomy, bladder reconstruction surgery, and a um, ileostomy or stoma for uh, 18 months. I had excision surgery which helped a bit but endometriosis is a very long-term condition and doesn't just go away. And what we're trying to do with this work is look at conditions such as endometriosis which is very it's not very well known but it has devastating impacts for women to help us understand the impacts that that condition can have on their ability to work and what employers can do to support women living with this terrible condition. Hearing about the plans that we've got around women's health, the focus on ensuring that they're looking at how they can help women back into work. We're hoping that it will really support people and employers to make sure that those with endometriosis have the support they need to really flourish. And what I think is really important is that especially employers understand that you know, it might not be the case of having a particular type of treatment, whether that be surgery or hormonal treatment or holistic, and then you're okay. Yeah, a lot of people think, oh, you've got a disease, you need one surgery and that's it, but endometriosis is a chronic condition. And what we find is that where employers understand what endometriosis is and just make some very simple adjustments, so recognising that someone might have some cyclical issues and to understand that maybe um, hybrid working or certain roles or to be flexible in what they do, that their employers will be really successful at work. Once we've got that really good data, we will be able to show employers the opportunities, the potential that there is to support women who just happen to be living with this condition. You know, we should not be in any way held back because of health conditions that we may suffer from. I've had a very positive experience of how I was brought back into work. I want this positive effect to be rolled out. If we can roll it out and to start to make change for endometriosis sufferers, Hopefully other companies will follow suit because we want to encourage and maintain those who suffer in employment and to still achieve their career goals or aspirations and not miss out on opportunities because of the condition that they have.